What's up, guys? Jersey, aka Crispy. <clears throat> now, if you see my videos, you see that I swim a lot. Okay, one easy way to not get swimmer's ear, which I don't get swimmer's ear because I do this, is a really simple technique. When you swim, your earwax gets wet. Sometimes you get water stuck in your ear. So all you have to do is use one of these little guys, a toothpick. I mean, not a toothpick, an ear swab, cotton swab, ear pick. So, so what you're going to do is just put it in, in a circular motion. Don't go too far back, of course. But you do want to go where you think the water might be, if there's any water. So that's going to absorb the water for you. You see, that's going to absorb the water and prevent swimmer's ear. It's super simple. A technique I found by myself, of course. Um, I might be out there already, don't get me wrong, but I, you know, figure this out by myself. Other side, you know, not too far in, just enough to where you think there might be water. That's going to absorb the water. See, the tip is wet. Other side, absorb the water. You don't want to do this the day after, right after you go swimming. Not too close either because, uh, that's it. Not too close but, uh, after you go swimming in because you don't want to absorb. It's going to have more water than um, if you wait, you know, like 15, 20 minutes. So just wait a little bit of time, 20 minutes, whatever. Take a shower. And then go ahead and do that. You won't get a swimmer's ear. All right. Nice tip. Nice talking to you guys. All right. Peace out. Have a good